This is a sample pro problem in statics. We have a horizontal beam that's 26 kilograms in mass, 4 meters long. It has two supports under it. One support is 0.5 meters from the right end. The other support is 2.4 meters from the right end. And when there's a 55 kilogram person standing on the beam 0.8 meters from the right end. We want to know what the values of the forces are at the two supports. So you should make a drawing, perhaps make your own drawing after pausing and reading through this. I have the two supports labeled at 0.5 meters and 2.4 meters. There's a force F1 on the left, F2 from the support on the right. And our person, 55 kilograms, 0.8 meters from the right end. The center of mass is at the middle of this uniform beam, 2 meters, as the beam has a uh, length of 4 meters. So we would uh, make use of the two equations for static equilibrium. The sum of the torques must add up to zero, and the sum of the forces in the y direction add up to zero. Uh, there aren't any x forces in this particular problem. Um, if we try just to solve this with some of the forces in the y direction equals zero, if we start that way, we'll quickly realize we have a problem. F1 plus F2 does equal the sum of the two weights, but uh, that's one equation and two unknown. So we're going to need to make use of the torque equation, and I'm going to choose to put the axis of rotation at the left fulcrum. You can put it at the right fulcrum just as well, but those are, one of those two would be the convenient choice. By putting the axis of rotation at the left fulcrum, F1 will have zero torque. Torque is force times lever arm. So F1 times zero lever arm means that torque is zero. F2 will have a torque, and I'm going to use counterclockwise as the positive direction. So let's take a look at what we have for the torques. The uh, weight of the beam is concentrated at the center of mass for purposes of our calculation. 26 times 9.8 would be the weight of the beam, and then it has a lever arm of 0.4 meters to the fulcrum. The center of mass is 2 meters from the end. The fulcrum is 2.4 meters from the end. I put a minus sign here because this particular torque is clockwise. That's the negative direction in my sign convention. It doesn't matter which direction you call positive or negative, as long as you're consistent with each term. The person also has a negative torque. The person's weight is attempting to rotate the beam in the clockwise direction. So a weight of 55 times 9.8. How far is the person from the fulcrum on the left, our axis? Well, we have 0.8 meters to the right. The fulcrum is 2.4, so 2.4 minus 0.8, that is the distance from the person back to the fulcrum. So I'll just sketch it in here. 2.4 minus, let's go a little further, uh, minus 0.8. Then the force at this fulcrum has a torque. It's positive. It's pushing upward here trying to rotate the beam in the clockwise direction around this axis point. And that torque is the force that's unknown right now. Our lever arm is 2.4 minus 0.5. There's a distance of 1.9 meters between the two supports. I'll write it in here, F1 times lever arm, but the lever arm is zero. Uh, so this term is going to drop out. That's going to have a value of zero. Let's go down one line. I've multiplied out here. And you should check this on your own calculator. And then the next line down, I calculate the force. Or gather together the numbers and take them to the right side. And then to get this result, of course, we divide both sides by 1.9. So I'm coming up with 508 newtons. I found the force on uh, for one of the supports. Now we go to the sum of the forces in the y direction equals zero equation. The two upward forces, F1 and F2, are counterbalancing the two downward weights. I put these in as a negative. When I add up all the forces, that has to add to zero. The weight of the beam is a negative number. The weight of the person is a negative number. 
putting in what we know for F2, 508 newtons. The two weights are calculated here. So one equation, one unknown, and we can go ahead and find that F1 has a value of 286. So is that reasonable? Is it reasonable that F1 is smaller than F2? Well, notice where the person is standing. The person has a mass of 55 kilograms. The beam has a mass of 26 kilograms. So we're actually a little bit closer to this support than the center of mass is to this support. We have more weight here. So there's going to be a bigger impact or effect on this uh, support to the right. And that's what we found. So it is reasonable that F2 is not the same as F1. If the person was standing in the middle between the two supports, then we would expect the two numbers to be the same. But the person is near the support on the right. Last question here, concept. Is the beam going to tip? Will the beam tip? And the answer is no. We have the center of mass of the beam inside the two supports. The person is inside the two supports. So sort of a concept in statics, if our load has a uh, location between the base of support, inside the base of support, we could say, then we won't tip over. And uh, that's where we'll stop this. Hope that uh, you picked up a little information on statics. If you want to see other sample problems, they're listed. Uh, the YouTube videos are listed at physics.gpclements.com. If you want to explore some astronomy, uh, astronomy.gpclements.com. These sites are free. There's nothing to buy, and there's uh, no registration required. Just go ahead and use them, and uh, hopefully you'll find some videos to be useful for you. After you watch one of my YouTube videos, if uh, you think this might be helpful for you, I'd very much appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel.